Hello Cancer, thank you for joining me. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, welcome. I've um, this is this reading is going to look at your energy between the fifteenth to twenty first of March, twenty twenty one, or thereabouts. Um, I'll just put the tarot cards to one side, and we'll just focus on the oracle um, to begin your reading. Um, and just take one card from each as a starter for ten, if you like. Um, to look at the overall energies of your reading. So what does Cancer need to know at this time? Just take one card as an overall energy for this reading. 15th to 21st of March 2021. So first of all, we have um, balance, spirituality and practicality. It's the full moon in Pisces. So, you know, we're in Pisces season still. This is we're going into the final week of Pisces season. Um, so that's that's lovely, a lovely energy to come out, the full moon in Pisces for you. So a need to balance spirituality and practicality so you know spirituality um is is fantastic and it's very beneficial tapping into your spirituality but we also have to keep our feet on the earth plane don't we we still have things and jobs that we have to do and uh, and, and and so on um and I suppose it's it's timely as well for me to mention that you know the the new moon in Pisces was on the 13th so we're still in that energy um, and we have four, you know, quite major planets clustered together within the sign of Pisces. The, we've got the Moon, the Sun, Venus and Neptune, and Neptune being the ruling planet of Pisces. So the, these planets all clustered together, they're amplifying the energy of Pisces, which is that dreamlike quality. Um, I'm a, um, so, you know, fa having fantasies. Um, dreams and um, ideals, if you like. Um, so, uh, and these are lovely energies to have. We all need to have some of that. Otherwise, you know, life would be very um, bland, wouldn't it? Um, and stayed. So, and so th those energies are around all of us at this time. So it's not a surprise really for you, Cancer, because you're a water sign also, as, as Pisces is. So you also are going to be quite influenced by, um, by the energies around this in this Pisces season, the major planets at this time. And of course, your ruling planet is the moon and the moon is in Pisces as well. So you can see why these energies, you're probably going to feel these energies and, and the need to drift away perhaps within your spirituality, to drift, drift away into dreamland, um, which is fine and which is great. Um, but we ha also have to deal with the practical day to day um, things in life as well, don't we? So balance spirituality and practicality cancer of course a long story short <laughs> um okay so um now let's do a, a shuffle of the oracle of dreams sorry sorry it's the oracle of visions got the wrong pack the oracle of visions what do the oracle visions um, want to say to pisces sorry to cancer i'm getting myself all mixed up now talking about pisces season so, um, what is it you would like to say to Cancer? Just, we'll just take one card as an, another overall energy. All right, well, this one just flips out. I will put it back in, but it's number 11, and this talks about harmony, balance, and um, being in tune with others. All right, harmony and balance and being in tune with others. That sort of an energy. So you've got the yin-yang symbol on, on his um, third chakra on his forehead there. Um, they're very spiritual energy. Okay, so I'll just pop that back. Another couple of shuffles. Okay, so um, now we have number five, and this is about flights of fancy. 
um, are taking a leap of faith perhaps, um, taking the next step, taking the next step. And, and you know, it could be to do with your dreams. Um, what is it you're, you're fantasizing about? What is it you're dreaming about going forward? And is it time to take a step in that direction? Because the energies are certainly going to be behind you, um, Cancer. All right, so let's see, shall we? I'll just put that to one side also. Right, so um, here we have the Tarot of Dreams. And let's see what messages um, Cancer needs to hear at this time. What does Cancer need to know for the 15th to the 21st of March, please? It's the general reading, Cancer, so... Um, take what resonates with you, what's meaningful, um, and leave the rest behind, um, perhaps for somebody else. The card, the energies do tend to hone in on certain um, stories. Messages for Cancer, please. 15th, 21st of March. 2021. Oh, that shouldn't be in there. That's a card from the Lightseers Tower. I'll just put that out of the way. Messages for Pisces, please. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All this talk about Pisces. So, messages for Cancer, please. It's definitely your reading, Cancer. <laughs> you have to forgive me. So, what have you got for Cancer, please? So we have the heart of your reading, Cancer, there, or and your energy at this time. Um, what's on your mind? The root influence, past influences, the future going forward, and then a little bit of ad advice and guidance um, from your guides and from the universal energies, which may or may not be connected to the rest of the reading. Okay, so... At the bottom of the deck, as another overall energy, we have the lovers. So this is a very a close, intimate relationship. It could be a marriage, could be a close partnership. Um, but it's the lovers. So it's definitely, um, this is about a, uh, a close relationship. Okay, so Lightseer's Tarot. Let's do a, um, some shuffles of the Lightseer's Tarot. Get your energies into the card, Cancer. So, um, could you clarify the cards on the table, please, for Cancer, 15 to the 21st of March, 2021. Clarify the cards on the table, please, for Cancer. 15 to the 21st of March, 2021. So we've had a card jump out. I'll have a quick look at it. It's the Four of Pentacles. And this is when you're holding something close to your chest. Um, you or somebody connected to you. Um, looking after what they've got. But, but sort of almost hiding it from everybody else. Um, Alright, so I'll just pop that back in. I'll clarify the cards on the table, please. For Cancer. Lay them on top, same order. All right, so at the bottom of this deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And this is when there's a gift, um, um, a golden opportunity perhaps, or a gift of money, um, career, work. Uh, sometimes it's an inheritance, but it's something definitely being offered. Um, it could be an abundant opportunity. Um, but I, f I do feel, you know, with the pentacles, they are usually about um, income, wealth, money, career, those sorts of energies, practical energies, earth earth energies. But you can, as you can see, and, and I love this picture, it's very, very clear, isn't it? Something's, something's being offered or something's definitely coming in um, for some of you, Cancer. And it's something to do with a relationship. Okay, um, all right, let's see where this is going. Sometimes the, the, um, the two uh, overriding energies for the 
for the reading can come from two slightly different perspectives, especially if there's two people that come out, um, two energies come out within the reading. Um, so that would be interesting. Let's see. So at the heart of your reading, Cancer, we have the Empress, beautiful energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Empress um, is a lovely, beautiful feminine energy because it's very she's very nurturing. It's very it is um, a creative, fertile energy. Um, in in many pictures of the Empress, she's pregnant, heavily pregnant, because she's fertile, metaphorically speaking. So she, she's very creative. You see, she's always she's creating new life. That lovely energy. But in this particular picture, she's actually given birth. Um, so there's, she's given birth to something new. Um, so there's something new. I, I feel this emperor energy is connected to yourself, Cancer. Uh, and there's something new um, that started. But it needs... It's quite vulnerable at the moment, so it's going to need nurturing and looking after, whatever it is. It may be a new beginning within yourself. Um, but let's see... The card connected to it is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and this is the hard work card, you know, mastering your skill, mastering something. Um, working very hard, but, um, you know, hopefully receiving the rewards for that hard work. But it's also being very focused, being very focused on what it is you're doing. Um, to make sure that uh, a, a good job is done or that something is perfected. Um, you know, sometimes it can represent, you know, working too hard, burning the candle here at both ends and having a lot of responsibility, keeping the cogs going, those those sorts of energies. Um, so, so this Eight of Pentacles is connected to the Empress. So it's something about this new, new, new beginning or a new opportunity, um, the start of something. Um, that you've been working very hard to create. Um, being very focused on creating this this new beginning for some of you. So let's see. We can always get some more information if the other cards that come out don't don't clarify what this is. So we can always get some more information. But two lovely cards to come out right at the centre. So if the Empress isn't referring to yourself, Cancer, it's referring to somebody connected to you, I feel, an energy of somebody connected to you, perhaps who's been working very hard to create something or perfect something. Um, but let's see. I only say that because we've got the Ace, Ace, Ace of Pentacles there, which is about this something being offered, a golden opportunity coming in. What are you thinking about at the moment? Well, we have the Queen of Coins and the Nine of Cups. And the Queen of Coins, um, very down to earth, very practical minded energy, very good at managing money, managing practical affairs. Um, sometimes they have their, their work for themselves. They have their own company working for themselves, very independent. Very independent minded, but very fair minded and well balanced, very comfortable in nature, very good at practical matters. So that's the Queen of Coins energy and this is what you're thinking about at the moment and this may be referring to an aspect of yourself, um, Cancer, those energies within yourself or it's somebody connected to you, somebody that you know. Um, and then of course the Nine of Cups which is um, Wish, wish, wish fulfillment, all of your cups being full, just one short of the Ten of Cups, which is um, happy ever after in a, a family situation energy. So, the, But the Nine of Cups is, is, you know, there's the treasure chest open. A um, lot of celebration here, so wish fulfillment, blessings coming true. Um, blessings coming true as a result of um, perhaps hard work, managing money, managing your affairs. All right, so, you know, as, as a result of your work, the blessings are coming true. Blessings are coming in. You're having, getting what you are desiring, what you are wanting. Um, and so that does then bring me back to 
um, the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. So whatever it is, as the Queen of Coins, you've been working hard on, then, you know, you're definitely creating something new. You know, creating and it's in its early stages, but there's definitely this creation of something new. And, you know, the, the hard work, which, which reflects the Queen of Coins again, working hard to create something that you've been wishing for and wanting, uh, Cancer. So at the root of this, we have the star and the Queen of Swords. And the star, again, this is about healing. Um, healing energies for you that have been coming in, achieving balance, achieving balance within yourself and around you and harmony, um, having harmony. Um, and then the Queen of Swords, using logic over your heart and over emotion. So planning, being, being the strategist, um, being at the top of your game to do with thinking things through and planning. Um, and not allowing your emotions to dictate the order of things. But being very clear in your mind. Um, so, you know, lovely energies. So that's there at the root of this, uh, Cancer. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just wondering where the lovers is going to come into this. And, and it will. But let's see. So, so in, the, in the past influences, we have the Two of Coins and the Nine of Pentacles. So the Two of Coins are when things are a little bit up in the air, perhaps financially, things up in the air, um, or it could be in some other area, and a need for balance. So that's a past influence. Um, and then connected to that is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is the Independent Person card. This is the Independent Person energy. When you've worked hard to get to where you are, and independent, um, autonom have autonomy, um, self-sufficiency and being able to have the pick of the crop then you choose you make the decisions you choose what it is you want so those sorts of energies all right um but as the but as this nine of pentacle energies were, were were definitely around but it still meant that there was there was there was still a little bit of an imbalance that some some things in the past were up in the air still but not bad energies at all you know very positive energies um, it's a lovely reading up, up to now. It's a lovely reading. And um, because just coming back to um, the number five here, which was about um, a leap of faith, taking taking the next step. And it may be linked to flights of fancy, but then, you know, that we're in Pisces season, Cancer, with all those lovely major planets influencing, including Neptune in, in Pisces also. So it's not. It's no wonder then that um, whatever it is you're fantasizing about, dreaming about, wanting, that you are taking those steps towards achieving um, what it is that you are desiring. Right. So going forward, we have the Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So the Four of Cups is when. Um, there's something, a cup of love or something that's meaningful for, you, for your heart that's being offered, that's on offer. It could be from, it could be from the universe um, or it may be from elsewhere. But you see, you're, you're looking at it and considering it, but you're not ready to accept it yet. And it's, an, it's, a, it's a passionate offer, it's a passionate new beginning. You see here the, the um, Ace of Wands, which is something new um, on offer. Um, and it's quite passionate and, and creative as well. It's a creative energy. The Wands are a very energising, passionate energies, creative energies. Um, but the, the Ace of Wands is usually a very significantly passionate opportunity or experience that I feel is on offer, but you're not sure. You're not sure whether to accept that or not at this time. That's just for the near future going forward. And it could be that because there's so much else going on um, for you within your life at this time, that it perhaps is not quite the right time for you. Or it, it, or this could be, just looking at the picture itself, is that something is firing up, there's a spark, there's something firing up within you that 
um, about um, a possible offer. Okay. Uh, so what what do your guides and the energies want to say to you at this time? Well, we have the Knight of Coins and the Six of Cups. And the Knight of Coins is saying there is something on the way. There's something solid gold on the way. Um, whether it's the solid gold opportunity. And I feel, I think it's this Ace of Pentacles that's on the way to be delivered to you. This new opportunity, there's something, something on offer here of abundance um, that's on the way. Oh, wow. Well, OK. I've just seen the card underneath the Ace of Pentacles. Right. And we have the Knight of Cups. So this is a, an offer of love coming in. This is some form of an offer. The Knight of Cups delivering, um, delivering something, a message, um, an opportunity. And of course, under that, we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is um, um, a very loving energy, is, is very much in touch with his emotions. Um, he has the sign of the, the symbol of, of Pisces, the fish round his neck there. Um, very much a water energy, King of Cups. Um, very dreamy quality, meditative energy. And I feel this is representing somebody that is bringing this um, opportunity and I feel that that's likely then what this new offer is going to be um, but I, 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 I've got a feeling that you are going to be conflicted about this um, you're going to be quite conflicted about this and I think we've already seen that haven't we with the four of cups not sure Because the Five of Swords is a competitive energy. So is it something to do with the energy of the King of Cups that is bringing out some form of a competitive energy within you? Um, okay. But whatever it is, it's not clear at the moment. You've got the moon here. Um, which of course is your uh, ruling planet but this is when things are a bit vague at the moment so things are a bit vague at the moment a bit unclear at the moment all right that's interesting so i can sort of see where this um lover's card is coming in the relationship as an overall energy so there's something about a relationship here and underneath that, we have the Nine of Coins, which we saw uh, in the past. In This is the independent person. Um, and here it is again underneath the lover. So, this, uh, you know, holding on to your independence, I feel, a need for autonomy, a need for self-sufficiency. And that may be what is, could be getting in the way, perhaps, of, of this, of this sort of a relationship this close intimate relationship because yes we have the two of swords underneath there which is conf conflict being conflicted in your mind about a situation making a decision not wanting to look at it not wanting to make that decision all right um and then of course here's the ace of coins there there's the ace of coins to do with this it's a solid gold opportunity um it's a solid gold opportunity. So this solid gold opportunity, this offering, uh, as I thought it may be something to do with money, um, career, income. Now looking at it with the other cards around it, I feel it's got something more to do with a rela possible relationship. I mean, that relationship may then bring some form of wealth with it. Um, that's possible. That's possible. It may be a practical relationship that that could then lead on to the lover's energy. It may be something for some of you, some something to do with work, perhaps somebody at work, 
That's just for some of you, I'm thinking. Okay, but I think it's something that, you know, you're going to have to sleep on. <laughs> you're going to have to sleep on and just have a break, have a rest from thinking about all these all these things um, to get ready for whatever the new beginning is bringing in for you. Yes, and take some time out, like the hermit energy. You know, go deep within, meditate, think about these things. All right, try to get the answers from within. Um, all right, yeah, I don't think the tower, the tower has nothing to do with yourself. It could be a tower in the past that um, something came crumbling down that wasn't built to last, and it could have been a could be a past relationship, but that's what's caused these current energies for you. Um, you know, that a bit of doubt, a bit of um, a lack of clarity, perhaps a need to. Um, I need to stand up for yourself because we've had, we had the, um, where is it, the Five of Swords, didn't we, which is um, a need, you know, competitive energy, you need to stand up for yourself, but entering into battles that no, don't need to be entered into um, because it can split people apart. It can lead to separations, you see. So, so it could be because of a tower, something that crumbled in the past to do with a relationship and we've got the residue here of that energy but coming to the guidance the knight of coins so this is that something being offered being delivered coming in very slowly though um, we have to be aware of that but the six of cups now that's that's to do with somebody from the past this is about memories from the past thinking about somebody from the past so is that somebody from the past coming back in, coming back in very slowly for some of you? Okay, um, I'm going to, can we have some more information please for Cancer to complete this reading? Have some more information for Cancer to complete this reading please. What else does Cancer need to know? Right, let me just do that again. Wasn't happy with that, with that cut. You see, there's lots of stories in the cards. Um, and sometimes they can get a little bit stuck together. But here we have um, view from the above, which is about getting the bigger picture. Um, and also the desert, desert passage, just trust that there is a divine plan. So to get the bigger, you know, sometimes we have to come away from the wood, don't we, to see the trees. So, in, you know, if we're too close to everything, um, it's difficult to to get the overall picture of something, to see something clearly. And this is saying view from above. So, you know, remove yourself somehow if you can. Try to distance yourself from the intricacies, from the melee, from any dramas, um, from probably from yourself to a certain ex uh, as uh, extent. Just stand back and look at a situation from a distance if you can in the third in the third person um, to get a, a better picture, a better understanding of something. Um, and then because we've got the desert passage. So, you know, the desert passage, you know, finding your way through the desert can be challenging, I would imagine, can be very challenging. But there is a divine plan and so so for some of you, it's going to feel like this, that you are, you know, trying to trying to forge your way through difficult circumstances, through a hostile environment for some of you, perhaps. And that's, that's how it would feel. Um, or, or just challenges, obstacles being put in your way. But, uh, and, and also it may just feel dry, very... Um, bland or just hot or you know that sort of an arid condition so that's just metaphorically speaking that i mean i know you're not going to be going through a desert well i don't think so 
But it's just, you know, just reflecting on what would it be like to try and forge a pathway through the desert. And, and that's how it's going to feel for some of you, um, um, you know, round about now or certainly over that the time of the 15th to the 21st of March, but probably a little bit beyond that um, again, so because it's an overall energy here. But do trust that there is a divine plan. You are being guided. You're being guided and looked after cancer. So just trust that and, and, the, and, and the energies are saying, you know, try to stand back to get the bigger picture. All right, Cancer, um, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the reading and good luck going forward. And I hope you can um, join me again sometime in the future. If you have enjoyed the reading, if you could like, share and subscribe, that would be great. But... Um, I look forward to you joining me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.